y'all. I'm back today to show yet another order I received. This is my first bathing garden order, which I'm very excited about. I ordered this on September 7th, and the turnaround time was estimated to be six weeks, and I received it in five, so it did come early, which is always awesome. Um, I'm sorry, I just want to go ahead and apologize for the lighting. We're having a cold front today, so the lighting outside isn't the best. Um, I tried to finagle it, turn on my kitchen lights, or just use my phone light, or whatever, and the best way I can do is by having my kitchen lights on, all the blinds open, and my camera light on. So if it has shadows or glare, I apologize, but I'm really trying to do the best that I can here. So I have my set descriptions on my computer right next to me. It will take me a second to kind of um, find the scent, but I thought that you guys would appreciate having the scent descriptions because Bathing Garden, from what I've figured out so far, is that the scents tend to be kind of complex. They're not very basic blends. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the samples. I want to go ahead and touch on Jack's Apple Frost because I have that one right here. That is, that's this one. I apologize for my nails. They look like crap. Sorry. Okay, so that's this one, Jack's Apple Frost. And the scent description reads, green apples, white vanilla, sugared meringue, and a blast of peppermint. And that's what you really get. The You get the vanilla and the peppermint the most. It's not a very strong peppermint. The vanilla is pretty strong in it. So it makes it like a really creamy, soft peppermint. And then you get a little bit of the green apple. The green apple's not very strong. It's mostly vanilla and peppermint. But that one's really relaxing. I actually think I'm coming down with a cold. I know my daughter woke up sick yesterday and my throat's starting to act funny, so I have some mint blends that I ordered in my fridge is making some funny sounds. Um, anyway, so I'm kind of happy that I have these and if I do get sick, I'll end up melting these very, very soon. So the next scent is called Winter Woodland. Let me find that one for you guys. Oh, come on. All right, winter woodland. How did that not come up? Okay, well, I guess it doesn't want to come up for some reason, but that is what it looks like. Well, I guess that is, it's just very glittery, but it's just so beautiful, okay. And this one's like straight pine, y'all. Straight up pine is what I get. I know there are other notes, but I just smell, it smells like trees. It really smells like if you were out in Alaska in Christmas. I don't even know if they have pine trees in Alaska, I'm just assuming, but that's what I would imagine when I smell this. My husband is gonna freak over this because he has been craving pine scents. He loves tree scents. Mm, that is amazing. And actually, I had placed a second order before I even received this order and I know that I ordered a clamshell in that scent so I'm pretty excited <clears throat> when I read that it had pine I was like uh yes please okay this next tree is so gorgeous my daughter's gonna want it it's purple and this one's called winter palace the scent description is actually on the packaging it says lavender mint wild berries I mostly get lavender and mint. You just get a tiny bit of berry, but it's mostly lavender and mint. It's just really soothing. The mint is stronger than the lavender, and I prefer it that way. And I feel like the owner, Shannon, probably gave me some of these like mint type blends as samples because she could probably tell from what I ordered that I tend to like mint blends. So I appreciate that little touch where she acknowledged that and added in samples she thought that I would enjoy. So that's always awesome. This next sample here is called Haunted Hayride. And this was one I actually wanted to try, so I was very excited to get it. That's what this one looks like. And this scent description reads, Tart Granny Smith Apples, Caramel, Cinnamon, Pumpkin, and Hints of Hay. And that's, I mean, exactly what you get. I love the hay in this, and I never thought that I would have. I was like, hey, what is that gonna smell like? But it smells really good. It's really comforting. And this is unlike any fall scent I actually have in my stash right now. So I'm going to save this one for a little bit, but I'm definitely going to melt this closer to Halloween. Maybe even on Halloween day. Because that is just so good. 
And the last sample I have here is called Wicked Sweet. Let's see. And it doesn't want to pop up. Let me try to look it up on this tab. There we go. Wicked Sweet. Salted caramel, hints of spicy chipotle, and sweet candy corn. That's odd. Hmm. There's not a lot of spice to it like I thought there would have been. You definitely get candy corn and some caramel. I'm having trouble smelling this one, I think. I, I do think I'm getting sick, but so that could play into it, but I, I feel like I'm having trouble smelling this one. It's not bad, though. I think I mostly get caramel and candy corn. Okay, so those were my samples. I will put them, I'll just slide them back a little bit. I'm gonna put those back in the bags later on. I'm not gonna bother you guys with that. All right. So I picked up five clamshells. I picked up two from the like fall collection and then I happened at, there were three that I wanted from, I guess it was her summer collection. Excuse me. All right, let me go back to those recent scent descriptions. Come on, guys. I don't know, I can't find this one for some reason. Yeah, this one doesn't come up. All right, this one's called Seasonal Madness. And I wish I had the scent description. I kind of wish she would put it on there. That would be nice. But it's just gorgeous. I love that little embed. And I can smell it from here, honestly. It smells very fall. Look at the, the glitz and the glitter. I just love that. I could do this for like 10 minutes straight and not get tired. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this one's great. I just wish I could tell you what was in it. It's definitely fall. I almost get like a bourbon or a whiskey you note know, in this, which is kind of odd, but it kind of smells like a clamshell at the bottom. Like I get that plastic note, so that's not fun. I might need to rebag these. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what it smells like, but it's not bad. That's the best I can give you for that one. This next clamshell is called Tombstone Dust really cute. Let's see if they got at this one. Let's go back to recent. She has a tab here for recent scent descriptions, so I'm kind of wondering why some of them aren't on here. Like, I can't even find this one. It's a pretty recent scent. Um, let's try this one. There we go. All right, <clears throat> green apple cinnamon cupcakes with a marshmallow, brown sugar, and caramel glaze. That tombstone is so beautiful, and I love, come on, that little skull face. So cute. Wow, that is beautiful. Oh, this one's really great. That cupcake scent is nice. And the brown sugar. So far, this one is my favorite out of the two, for sure. That is very good. And I think that would have been good in like a sugar scrub. Really comforting. Okay, this is from the Summer Collection. This is Summer Melon in Mint. I don't think I need to look up the scent description for that. self-explanatory. Mint and Melons. That's beautiful. Of course, all of her clamshells are beautiful. And that's exactly what you get. This is almost similar, or this is similar to Freak Show by VCS, which is melon, cucumber, mint, and watermelon, or just melon. This is very similar, but this is more minty. I don't, I don't know if there's watermelon in this, but maybe it's the cucumber that's missing. But uh, this is more minty. And I think in the VCS note, the cucumber probably tones it down. But this is really great. 
I love melon scents and I love mint scents. Next up we have Storybrook Mint. I'm going to look for that one. Is there like a second page or something? That might be why I can't find it. Maybe there's a third page? Say, I'm just so confused why I can't find what I need to find. Yeah, they don't have it on there. I have no idea. We're just going to try to guess. I think that's lavender pieces, lavender petals or something. A little glittery flower at the bottom is really cute. I wish I could tell you, but I just get a bunch of mint. <laughs> I mean, it's great, and you can tell that it's not just straight mint. There's something else in there, but to pick it apart from the mint would just be too hard. But it smells really good. This one is more minty. I think this is a peppermint, and that might be like a buttermint type of scent. That's what it seems like. And then last for the clamshells, this is tea with mango and mint. And that sounded really interesting to me. Another gorgeous glittery clamshell. Her tea note is actually pretty strong. It's a little floral, but it's not bad. I don't get too much mango. And the mint is really nice. This mint is softer compared to the white tea. You don't get it as much. Maybe there is mango. I can pick it up, yeah. And then the mint kind of accents the white tea and mango. So definitely not as minty as this blend, but still really good. Let's do that. Okay, so I also ordered a whipped soap and a sugar scrub. And with that, I got the sample, the sample here of a sugar scrub. This is Booberry Mansion Shea Butter Sugar Scrub. So I'm curious if I can find this Booberry. Maybe it's in the Poison Graveyard collection. Um, let me see, that was a sugar scrub, so maybe it's under sugar scrubs. No. Alright, I'll try one more, I'll try the Scare Collection, we'll see if it's in there. There we go, Blueberry Mansion. This is <clears throat> blueberry, strawberry, and vanilla with a heaping scoop of sweet sugar blended with iced birthday cake. So, blueberry, strawberry, vanilla, sweet birthday cake. Pretty simple. Yeah, and that's what I get. You really get a lot of that sweet birthday cake, which is pretty good. She has a good birthday cake. I'm not usually a fan of blueberry. This is the second blueberry scent I've smelled that I liked. The first being the one in my blank label order. She had a, blue, uh, a blueberry scent blend in there that was pretty good. I s this is interesting like if you just sniff it a little bit you get a little bit I think you smell more of that strawberry but if you do a long sniff uh, towards the end you start to pick up that blueberry really strong that's really cool <laughs> but this is going to be my first I'm going to try this one before I try my other sugar scrub it's going to be the first one I've ever tried from her I've heard great things so I'm excited to try it out I can tell it's extremely moisturizing that was you know I didn't pick up that much sugar from it, but you can see all the oils and stuff that's in there. I have a coffee scrub, sugar scrub, that's in my shower right now that was from Valhalla. And it's in the scent Nag Champa. It's a Lush dupe, and I did not like the scent. But after using, uh, using it after a while, I started to like the scent and the coffee scrub. I mean, it just, every time I open it up, I'm like, oh, this is amazing. And I'm almost out of it, so instead of ordering from them again, I decided to go ahead and try this company out because I had been wanting to for a long time. Anyway, I got off subject there. Okay, so I picked up the whipped soap and my sugar scrub in the scent Seven Layer Cake. In retrospect, I wish that I had not. Not that it's a bad scent or anything, but it's just not strong enough for me. I wish I had picked it in something else. I'm not really sure why I chose this one. I was really, it took me forever to decide. But either way, this is the Coconut Oil Whipped Soap in the scent seven layer cake. I love the color. I haven't 
tried any of these or even touched them like I did the other one because I was thinking, I don't know, I was like, I might de-stash them. I was smelling it and trying to, trying to decide. It almost smells like an icy cake. Like I just get like a really, like there's an odd scent at the very beginning that's just not anything that I'm interested in. It smells like an icy birthday cake. It's so weird. It's not bad. I just don't feel like I'm going to really enjoy it. Honestly. And I know I ordered another, I think I ordered a parfait and a sugar scrub in my second order that I should get in a few weeks. So I was thinking maybe I should just de-stash these two items, use this sugar scrub as, that I got as the sample, and just wait for my other products to come in. Um, because once I use it, if I really decide then I don't like it, I've already used it. And I have to use it up or end up tossing it eventually. Sometimes things will just sit in my shower until I'm like, eh, that's old, and then I'll toss it. And I wouldn't want to waste such a good product when I know that somebody out there might want it. So I'm still undecided. I'll think about it a little bit more. But anywho, this is the... I don't know why that's not coming in clear. Coconut oil sugar scrub. I wish you could read that. Maybe I'll put it closer. Yeah, that is so weird to me why it won't... You know, you have a $700 cell phone and it won't even show anything clear. Like, that just drives me crazy. Okay. Sorry, guys. Either way, this is the coconut oil sugar scrub. And that's what it looks like. It's so beautiful. But I would have trouble even putting, digging my paws in there. Because I don't want to disturb anything. It's so beautiful. And you can even see kind of seeping on top of that little petal right there at the top. There's some oil seeping onto there. Or maybe that's glitter. No, there's some oil. So pretty though. And it smells the same. I think you can get more of the scent. You know what it is? I'm smelling the coconut oil. That's what it is. And it's really, I think it's really, to me, offsetting the scent and making it like, it just, it really, this one smells like coconut oil, like for sure. You know what, I might as well try it. I think I'm gonna try this one first, and then if I really, really like it and I don't wanna wait for my next one, I'll just pop into this bad boy and give it a whirl. I know coconut oil is supposed to be really good for your skin, and I know I can get past the scent of coconut oil. I mean, I cook with it, I you know consume it pretty regularly. So maybe I just need to quit being a big baby. Anywho, that, nice Ashley. That is my first bathing garden order. I was so excited for it. As soon as I heard, I mean, I was at the grocery store and I got the notification that it was delivered. I just wanted to hurry up and rush home so I could pick it up. And I could smell it when it was in my car. It was wrapped in tissue paper. I had bubble wrap in there. And even with it just in the padded envelope like that, I could still smell one of the scents. I think it was this pine scent here coming through the package and scenting my whole car up. So really strong. I can't wait to see how they melt. I'm probably going to melt one of these um, mint scents first, just because I'm not feeling <clears throat> Sorry. Um, just because I'm not feeling very well. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have a video on Monday. So, it will be sometime next week. Either way. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. You have an awesome weekend. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.